I wanted to introduce the assumption of having a large sample size and what it can help us with. So large sample size will help us with two things primarily. The first thing it will help us with is sampling variability, so sampling var. The second thing that it will help us with is non-deterministic, which is basically random, so non-deterministic y sub i. So let me talk about both of these. Sampling variability is when you take a sample from your population, that sample is random. And there is a chance that your sample will contain lots of extreme individuals. So for example, you might contain lots of people that have more than one children. If you are looking to find what the average number of children in the United States is, you might have a sample that has 10 people, all with more than five children. That would be very rare to get this type of sample, but it could happen. Having a larger sample size will help deal with this. The larger the sample size, the less chance of you getting very extreme values, or a lot of very extreme values in your sample, decreases. Non-deterministic YI is another thing that can be combated with large sample size. So for example, YI is an outcome. Let's say you're interested in the outcome that is uh, amount of money. If you treat someone with going to a casino, there's a good chance that if you treat them multiple times, they'll come back with different outcomes because it's a little bit random. And it's actually quite random in some cases. So for the example of the casino case, you might come back with zero, negative 100, negative 1,000. Maybe you'll come back with a million dollars because you hit the jackpot. In this case, when you have very random outcomes, when applying the same treatment to the same individuals, you'll often need a very large sample size in order to see the full distribution of these outcomes. That way, you'll be able to be more certain about what the true parameters in the population are. The final thing that should be noted here is that as n increases, so as the size of the sample increases, you get this great effect. The size of the confidence interval decreases. Now, this is not a bad thing. If the size of the confidence interval decreases, this means you are more confident in a specific value of yi. You're more confident in a specific average causal effect. This is a really awesome effect. If you're more interested, or if you're even more interested in what I've talked about here, and you're very interested in learning about how large sample size changes results, you should definitely go check out my statistical inference videos, which will be top, uh, up in the top right. Otherwise, this should give you a good intuition on why having a large sample size can be really good. If you remember one thing, please do remember, as it increases, we become more confident in our answers.